Hammer in 1892. Dr. Global Hammer was a very interesting man. History tells us that he insisted on eating nothing but Brussels sprouts. Wow, I am constantly amazed by Miss Fowl's ability to make something as exciting as science sound so boring. Man, this is the second time this year we've been on Miss Fowl's same old tour of the same old exhibits. Nothing ever changes here. Can't anything ever be different? Oh, but it can be. And somewhere in another dimension, things are different. Very different. In this other dimension is a boy named Jimmy Negatron. Evil boy genius. And if this boy has his way, things will change in Retroville. Just a couple more changes and the final phase of my greatest plan can begin. Yes! My dimensional portal is the key that will allow me to complete my list of objectives. <laughs> Herman! I know. I'm an imbecile. Go lock myself in the broom closet. <clears throat> Now all I have to do is wait for that second-rate pretend genius Jimmy Neutron to activate one of his inventions and I'll lock on to the signal. It'll be child's play. Evil child's play! <laughs> now this exhibit on the theory of time travel is pure genius. You've got to be kidding, Cindy. Einstein's theory of time travel has many gaps in it that prevent travel through portals. Oh, sure. Next, they'll tell me that you have it perfected, right? Why, of course. Let me show you. <laughs> All I have to do is press this button and we'll go back 50 years. I've got the location. Time to swap briefly. Time for you and your barking toaster to be locked up while I have some fun. Hey, it worked! Arrgh. Must have had the fluxing code wrong again. Yes! Perfect timing. Like trapping a chicken in a corner. What? Where am I? Hey, who are you? Get me out of this! What? You... You look like me, but you're wearing a fake beard. What beard? What are you talking about? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jimmy Negatron. I am the super smart, good-looking version of you who resides in this dimension. Anyway, I've got you trapped, and you will stay there in my dimension forever! <laughs> Excuse me! Huh? Uh, huh? Oh. Sorry, what is it? Just what are you planning on doing now? It's quite simple, but I'll use small words so you can understand. I'm going to take your place in your world and change it just for fun, okay? No, you can't! Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Bye-bye. Herman, get out of the broom closet and guard the prisoner, Jimmy Neutron. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You failed again, Cosmic Weirdo. You were right, Cindy. The time travel feature was right, and I was wrong. You're smarter than me. Uh, I think you just warped your brain, Jimmy. Later. Hey, wait up, Cindy. I've got some flurp for you. Oh, purple flurp? No, this flurp is new and improved. <laughs> hey, you, Herman! What is it, Neutron? What? Don't you recognize me, you fool? I am your master, Jimmy Negatron! Mua, ha, ha, ha! Oh, no, you don't. You're just trying to trick me. It won't work. 
I know that you are Jimmy Neutron. No! I'm Jimmy Negatron! Negative! You are Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! Neutron! Negatron! Neutron! No! I am positive you are my master, Jimmy Negatron, and I will do whatever you command! Oh, okay, if you insist. Um, let me out of this cage! Right away, master! And release the robot dog Goddard as well! Yes, of course! There, are you happy now? Yes, yes, master! <laughs> command me again! Command me again! Okay, um, go play in the broom closet! At once, master! Okay, that takes care of that. Let's get out of here, Goddard. Right. This platform will give me a perfect shot at that switch. Milk bottle. I have to find the switch to turn off that beam so I can get to the portal. Ugh, that must be it. But these bots might give me trouble. I just need to find some stuff I can use to build something for stopping those bots and hitting that switch. Cool shade. A PVC pipe. Great work! All right. Now I can make a water balloon launch. coming in through my PDA. I wonder who's sending it. Hello? Aha! I see you've escaped from your cage. Uh-oh. It's Negatron. Don't think you're home free yet, Neutron. You'll never escape my lab. Oh, by the way, I have a friend that wants to see... Hi. Hey, Cindy. Want some more flirt? Sure, Jimmy. You're the greatest, smartest boy I know. Um, how about we do our homework together? Ugh. I think I'm gonna hurl. Sure, sweetie. Later tonight, maybe. I'll be counting the minutes. Not that! Anything but that! No! no! Ugh. He's got me really upset now. I've got to get back to my dimension and set things straight. If I remember correctly, I just have to hit this switch, then jump through the portal. Let's go, boy! Uh-oh. This doesn't look like the museum to me. We're still in Negatron's dimension from the look of things. <laughs> Well, well, you actually thought it would be that easy to get me, huh? Lucky for me, I planned for this. I fixed the portal to send you to a special treat I've planned for you. If you look behind you, you'll notice a ton of water just ready to spill over. Let's see if you have what it takes to get through the ravine in one piece. Oh, and don't worry, I'll be keeping your friends busy as well. <laughs> Looks like we've got our hands full now. Goddard, quick! Flight cycle mode! A funnel? Great <laughs> okay, all I need to... Ha <laughs> ha! 
careful in here, Goddard. Oh, nuggets and jewels everywhere. Wow, that was close, but we made it. Now I've got to find a way back to Negatron's lab. This place looks kind of creepy. If I can put these submarine pieces together, I can build a sub to get back to the lab. I can't move these pieces on my own. Hmm, that crane should do the trick. I'll just use that. Oh, I should have known. The door to the crane controls is locked. How am I supposed to get all the way up there? Wait! There's a rope leading from that warehouse to the crane. If I can find a way through the warehouse up to that rope, I can slide over to the crane. Another sub piece. Make a nice addition to the sub. Uh oh, a guard dog. <laughs> of course, that's not how it really happened. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Bye. 
soda. Roll of tape. Hey, Goddard is showing me which way to go. Thanks, boy. Bicycle pump. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Bicycle pump. again. A radio! This could be useful. Hey, Gunner is showing me which way to go. Thanks, boy! I can make something useful with this. Great wow. Wow. Okay, all I need to do is find an activator for this, then I can use it. Try that again. Uh oh. Let's try that again. Yes! Activating time travel safety feet. Isn't time travel great, Goddard? Travel great, Goddard. A veggie steamer. Great, wow. wow. Okay, all I need to do is find an activator for this, then I can use it. Goddard is showing me which way to go. Thanks! Oh, I 
better try that again. Hey, Goddard is showing me which way to go. Thanks, boy. Yeah! Activating time travel safety feature. Be careful. X-ray glasses. sub-launching platform. I just have to move the sub-pieces with the crane and put them here on this target. Goddard. All right. <laughs> wow. This is incredible, Goddard. Now, if I could just find the opening that leads to Negatron's lab, it's got to be around here someplace. <laughs> what, boy? Oh, yeah. There it is. I saw it. Let's go check it out. Check it out. Look, there's an opening in this door. 
Looks like it's made to hold some kind of stone or crystal. Okay, let's go find it. Look, Goddard! This must be the ruins of an ancient city. It's a crystal. Let's try to get in there. Crystal, now let's go open that door. We need to move the rocks from that doorway with the sub's grabbing claw. I can use it. Go back and find the key. Bicycle pump. doorway with the sub's grabbing claw. All right, here's the key. Great wow. wow. Okay, all I need to do is find an activator for this, then I can use it.
Now is go into the lab, activate the portal, and jump through. This'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Bicycle pump. try and teleport out. Let's make sure Negatron doesn't have another trap in mind. Ah, as expected, I need to alter the dimensional coordinates. 
Now a minor change to the fluxing code and bang, we're ready to go, Goddard. Hmm. So Negatron changed the coordinates on me, huh? Two can play at this game. There. Let's go, boy. The portal is ready. Master, is that you? Hmm. Thought I heard someone. Oh well, I guess it was just. Hey, wait a minute. I let Master out of the cage, but what was he doing in the cage? <gasps> I think that was Jimmy Neutron. Ah! He tricked me! Oh, that makes me mad. Oh, Negatron will be mad at me if he finds out I let Jimmy go! What should I do? Back at the museum. We need to locate Negatron and find out just what he's been doing to Retroville. This computer exhibit is just what I need. I can load Vox's backup into it and track down that troublemaker. Vox 2000, backup version, online. Hello, Jimmy. How are you today? I've been better, Vox. Run a scan on Retroville and check for abnormal conditions. Scanning. All right, Goddard. We'll see what Negatron's been up to. We haven't been gone long. How bad could it possibly be? Warning. Retroville normalcy level 45%. Uh-oh. Displaying trouble areas on screen. Thank you, Vox. Okay, boy. We have to get out there and put everything back to normal. And stop Negatron. Hey, Carl, over here. Hey, Jimmy, what you got there? Nothing, Carl. Just some flurp. Hey, that stuff looks good. Can I have a sip? Sure, Carl. Just don't finish it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> I feel kind of funny. Uh, what's happening what to me, Jimmy? Jimmy? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting I'm real hungry. I gotta stop Carl. I'll build a foot shooter to attach to my rocket ship. Shooting food into his mouth will calm him down. I have to get supplies from the hardware store. Gotta get food from Sporkos, too. Hi, welcome to Sporkos. May I take your order, please? Yeah, give me, uh, 6,000 Sporko burgers with cheese, please. Would you like to sporko size that for just 29 cents extra? Uh, sure. Would you like fries with, uh, did you say 6,000? Yes. Is there a problem? Um, um, okay, um, that's like a really big order, so... I can give you part now, and you can pick up more at the window of any Sporko's location in town until the order is complete. And thank you for eating at Sporko's. Great. That should be enough food even for Carl. Here you go. Hey, kid. 
How could I help you? Okay, um, give me a lead pipe, a spatula, a big spring, and a case of duct tape, please. Building a food shooter for a rocket ship, are you? Yep. Good luck. Bye now. Now I can use my rocket ship to pick up food and feed Carl. If I can get enough food into Carl's mouth, it should return him to normal. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Boy, did that flurp have a kick to it. <laughs> you got any more? <sighs> I felt like a monster capable of climbing buildings. Easy there, Carl. Don't go ape on me. How about you stay away from the flurp and help me locate Cindy? Oh, Jimmy. You still sweet on Cindy? 
I thought you weren't interested in girls just yet. No, no! Ugh. Let's just say I need to right some wrongs. Well, okay, Jim. Whatever you say. Now that you're back to normal, where's Cindy? Why would I tell you? You just ignore me again, Jimmy. You know, I thought we were best friends. At least we were until she got into the picture. We are, Carl, and I don't like Cindy. My evil double, Jimmy Negatron, is pretending to like her to make me mad. Yeah, but he looks just like you. I promise that once I find him, I'll clear up the me and Cindy issue, okay? Sure, Jim, but, um, can I still be the best man at your wedding? Ah! All right! Okay, I have to decide which area to investigate next. Let's check it out. to jump on these rafts to cross the river. Go wait over there, boy. Bark, bark. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Try that again. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Yeah! Activating time travel safety feature! Sandstorm exhibit. I don't remember being here. Here, I'll be right back. Ah, much better. Now let's go.
From the looks of it, I guess this is a color-coded lock. I'll have to take those gems, put them in the mouths of these lions, and make the color of this light beam match the color on the door. Finally, the pyramid! And there's Miss Fowl. Oh! Help me, Jimmy! Hang on, Miss Fowl! I'll be right there! <laughs> Try that again. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Of course, that's not how it really happened. Goatee and a sinister laugh? Why, yes, 
Jimmy. I knew that couldn't be you. He's causing trouble all over. Finally, someone who believes me. I always have Jimmy. Now go find that other boy genius. I will, Miss Fowl. See ya. Jimmy, are you cleaning your room? I cannot be interrupted with such trivial tasks. I can't clean. There's nothing evil about cleaning. I go... James Isaac Neutron, are you even listening to me? Ugh. Parents. Jimmy. Oh, sorry, Mom. Dad. You know, I don't think we've been spending enough quality time together as a family. What do you say we all go to the museum, hmm? Oh, don't you try and change the subject, young man. I don't know, dear. Yeah, maybe we could use an outing to the museum. I think I can arrange that. <laughs> fun. Bye, Dad. Bye, uh, Mommy. <laughs> okay. Okay. That wasn't very funny, but I'm pressed for time. Bye-bye. James Isaac Neutron. Hey, Mom. Dad. I'm gonna get you out of there. You are in a lot of trouble, young man. Why did you put us in here? I'm really sorry, but I'll explain later. What's that button in the cage for? Uh, you said before that this button opened something else, but not this cage. Wait a second, I think I can uh, hit the switch from here. Ow! I got it. Look! That button opened some sort of panel. It looks like keys go into these holes. Great! Now all I have to do is go find them. I'll be right back with the first key. don't look very stable. I'll have to be careful where I step. Yeah! Activating time travel safety feature! Yeah! Activating time travel safety feature! Isn't time travel great, Goddard? Of course, that's not how it really happened. again. Great Goddard. find an activator for this, then I can use it. These things are switches. I 
can shoot them with my water balloon launcher. can use these platforms and ropes to get to the other side. not how it really is. Megatron put these here for sure. I need to blast my way past these guys.
particle pump. in place. Now what? Okay, the key opened up that passageway. This must be where I can find the second key. That second key must open the cage. Hang on just a little longer. I'll have you out of there soon. Hurry, Jimmy! I can't feel my face. like a huge cave. There are buttons all over the place. I wonder what they do. Whoa! The rope's filling up with water. Looks like some buttons make the water go up and some buttons make the water go down. Hey, Goddard is showing me which way to go. Thanks, boy.
I can make something useful with this.
there's a portal of some kind. I wonder where it leads. Okay, this looks challenging. I just need to jump across to the other side and dodge all these swinging pendulums. Uh-oh, let's try that again. Second key. All right. All right, with that cage out of the way, I can get you guys out of those caskets. Great, son. Oh, and son. Yeah, Dad? Hey, hurry. Hey, Dad, you haven't bought any of that black flurp, have you? Uh, what's this black flurp? Flurp you're talking about. I've never heard of it. So, where do you have it hidden, huh? I won't tell Mom. Well, I have a crate of it hidden in the garage. For those days, Mom turns uh, grizzly, if you know what I mean. What was that, Dad? He said there's a crate of it hidden in the garage. Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, I have to decide which area to investigate next. Let's check it out. <laughs> Energy is stopping me from getting into this room. Not all the energy to pass through. Look! This green river on the floor is data on its way to Vox's core. Off the floor, it will lead me straight to Libby and Vox. Thank <laughs> you. 
speed up!
Okay, now to restore you to normal, Vox. Thank you, Jimmy. All systems normal. Great, Vox. Send us back outside, please. Right away, Jimmy. That was not cool, Jimmy. Sorry, Libby, but I didn't create those bugs. Have you seen Cindy? Oh, now that's cute. Worried about the woman you love, huh? <laughs> well, I think she's getting ready for the big moment with you. I'm afraid to ask. Uh, don't tell me. I may lose my lunch. She's getting ready for your first kiss! Jimmy and Cindy, this nightmare's getting worse tree. every moment! K-I-S-S-I-N-G First comes love, then comes... <laughs> No more Mr. Nice Guy. I've got to send Negatron back where he belongs. All right! Ugh, <laughs> oh, this place is a mess. I wonder if Negatron has been messing around with any of my inventions. Vox, have any of my inventions been activated recently? Scanning, yes, Jimmy. It appears that Jimmy Negatron has used your time machine to try and change the past. Oh no! There's no telling how much damage he can do. I gotta stop him! But how? Any suggestions, Vox? You can travel back in time to stop him, but he is protected by a proton shield. You can return him back to this time by touching him with your neutron field disruptor. You must touch him several times to make him run out of energy. Okay, that sounds simple enough. It appears that Negatron has traveled back to Halloween. I love Halloween! Wish me luck. To the time machine, Goddard. Okay, ready for time travel. Look at all the kids in costumes. How am I supposed to find Negatron? Oh, okay. Stop right there, Negatron. Ah, Neutron. How have you been? Keeping busy? <laughs> I didn't come here to talk. I came to stop you. Stop me? You can't stop me. Not without a Neutron Field Disruptor. <laughs> I have a Neutron Field Disruptor. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Candy! 
find an activator for this, then I can use it. jump now, I should be able to follow him wherever, I mean, whenever he's going. Let's go, Goddard! What took you so long, Jimmy? You'll never catch me! Not without a scooter! Ha <laughs> ha! Goddard, scooter mode. Oh, you have a scooter too, huh? You still have to catch me. Okay, let's get Negatron.
Super speed up! Time neutron! He made another time jump! Let's go! We can still catch him! Independence Day! Wait, I had my jetpack at the fireworks stand for repairs, and it was ready on Independence Day. I'll just pick it up. I can catch Negatron then for sure. Ah, welcome to... <coughs> ah, welcome to Spargo's. How can I help you? I came to pick up my jetpack, please. Okay, here you go. You careful here now, because that baby... <laughs> oh, that baby packs a punch. <laughs> It'll leave a mark if you mess with it, I swear it will. I'm always careful. Bye! Just in time. There's Negatron. Neutron! You found me again? Ah, doesn't matter. You can't catch me without... Uh, uh, you have a jetpack, don't you? Yep. Uh, gotta go! Bye! <laughs> all my proton energy. It won't be that easy to save your friends and your town. <laughs> Whew, I'm glad that's over. Now back to the present to save Retroville. Are you Jimmy Neutron? Wait, what does that say? Neutron! <gasps> you are Jimmy Neutron! You are coming with me! Baking soda, an egg beater, bicycle pump, what a vile beverage. I'm getting sick. Cindy, don't drink that stuff. It's poison. I think I L-O-V-E you, Jimmy Neutron. No! I have to get through to the factory and get rid of all that black flurp. Jimmy Neutron, at last. The Herminator has found you. Herminator? This bot needs serious help. 
<laughs> I will zap you like a little fly and take you back to my master's lab. Uh, can't we talk about this? Negative. Prepare to be herminated. Water balloons aren't going to help me now. I'll have to find something around here to stop this guy. Alright, radar! Alright, purple dwarf! Alright, purple dwarf! According to my calculations, I need a full bottle of blurp to achieve the proper blurp to burp ratio. Alright, purple dwarf! I can make something useful with this. Energy shield! Alright! Purple dwarf! I can make something useful with this. Great wow. Wow. Yeah! I made a super burp zooka! Alright! Purple dwarf! <laughs> Not. Now, on to the factory. Whoa! So this is where all the black flurp is coming from. The heart of darkness. I have to stop those black flurp bottles from being shipped. down with my water balloon launcher and leave the purple bottles. Gotta make sure I don't shoot the bottles of purple flurp.
is not how it really I'll just make more. I am unstoppable. I am all powerful. I am. <laughs> Trapped in a vat. Now to get Cindy back to normal. A purple flurp should reverse the effects of Negatron's black flurp formula. Hey, Cindy, drink this. Sure, Jimmy. Anything for you. <laughs> Well, what are you looking at, nerd boy? What did you say? I don't think I heard you. You heard me correctly, and back up. You're violating my territorial bubble. Yes! Insult me again, please. Oh, you think you can just wind me up? Well, you have another thing coming, Neutron. Neutron? I can hear you out there. Listen to me. You think you've won? Well, I have a little surprise in store for you. I programmed the mechanical dinos from the museum to rampage through the town. I've given them the signal and they're making their way through the downtown streets as we speak. Let's see you think your way out of this one. <laughs> wow, this echo sounds cool. Oh no! I have to get out there and stop them! and the food shooter I rigged to throw water balloons at the dinos. Yeah, stop them. They are mechanical after all. Let's go, Goddard!
Eagle Pump. Stop laughing like that. It's annoying. You've stopped me for now, Neutron. But I'll be back. And next time, I'll beat you! Don't count on it, Negatron. After all, I am the one and only. So long, Neutron! Uh, Jim? Yeah, Carl? So, that's the evil you from another dimension? Yep. Okay, um, aren't you gonna stop him? Nope. Why not? Simple. I planned a little surprise for him when I was trapped in his dimension. What kind of surprise? Let's just say he'll be busy for a while. What? Ah! Neutron must have changed my return coordinates! Come on! Release me from this cage at once! Negative. You won't fool me this time, Neutron. The Herminator is too smart for you. What? No! It's me, you metal moron! Yeah, sure. That's a good one. Ha ha ha! Hasta la vista, Jimmy!